previously on The Wolf Among Us. God damn you! you got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Wait outside! Come on! I know you're fucking in there! Come on out, you fucking dog! You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Hey guys! It is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, Episode 1, Part 2. So you guys just saw a little bit of an intro, but I did leave out a little bit of the ending where Snow White had come to our door and was acting really weird, like something had gone down. So that's where we left off. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue. And also, I apologize um, that this episode, well, this part took me forever to get out. You know, it was the holidays and everything, and it was crazy. So let's go ahead and jump back in. What the hell? Hmm. What the hell? What the fuck? You knew this? <gasps> no, I liked her. I liked her. She's not a Monday. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Faith Town. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. <sighs> the woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Found her. I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, <sighs> did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh my goodness. No. I really liked her. She was so cute. Oh. What is She's wearing that ring. I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something sharp or something with magic attached to it there's some blood <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry this is just so surreal mm. <sighs> um what what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Are 
Let's touch uh, this blood here. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. All right. Oh my goodness. I really, really liked her, so <laughs> this is really sad. I think she was so cute. She was so freaking cute with her little ribbon. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm really sad. <laughs> but uh, I really, I'm, I like the plot, though. I think it's, it's really exciting, you know, for gameplay to have, like, this mystery in it. I don't know. I, I really like it. Hmm. Let's walk this way, maybe? Up to the front gate and see if there's anything over here. Nobody there. Alright, well, let's go talk to Snow and um, maybe show her the fabric. are you doing <laughs> better to be thorough sure just hurry up we don't have much time she said what are you doing <laughs> we should move her before anyone shows up we'll find out more at the business office she'll be in the books i'm sure of it big p do you have any idea what's going on this is a message a message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. Placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may just as well wait a little. Something. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Hmm. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business. Damn, that really sucks. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> you see anyone here laughing, sheriff? I was laughing. <laughs> fuck face. Fuck. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. That's a big nose. I brought you this news as soon as I could. 
You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, mm -hmm. says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Mm. No. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Oh? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything more. Such a dick. Oh my goodness. Good job, Sheriff. Well, we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> you would have just pissed him off more. All right. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't going to say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. <laughs> asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> is... Is he gone? Yes! yes thankfully. Yes! 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 All I have to say. <laughs> yes! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Oh, he's so cute! Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He's perfect. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right. Uh, let's go talk to the mirror. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rules. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? <laughs> yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Mm. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. <laughs> hey, 
Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. All right, let's do the woodsman again Show so I can look again. Woodsman. All right, that's cool. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. That's really cool. This monkey, monkey slash, I don't even know, monkey eagle bird, perfect. Well, I'm sure Flying we'll get monkey. it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, so I guess we're gonna come over here and uh, look at the books that he just brought out, see what that's all about. Um, what is this? Tarot card. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Okay, sounds rather sexual. Um. All right, there's Snow White's little desk. How cute. Hey, uh, let's look into the Book of Symbols, maybe? Or what is this? The Book of Fables. Let's examine. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Let's see. Let's, uh, there is Snow White. There is Big B. Here's the Axeman. Uh, Red Riding, Beauty and the Beast, uh, I don't know this one, and I guess there's Toad, um, really don't see anybody, there's Snow White and the Dwarves, I, that's, that's not her, I really don't know, who's that? Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. All right, let's look at this person. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. <gasps> the oh yeah. The rings. Could be her father. Or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family. Her are. ring. If it's in here, we'll have her name. All right. Let's go ahead and look at this. All right, and let's find. Let's find what we need. Right there. Great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo. I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> hmm. uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. 
Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. <sighs> we got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. All right. Uh, actually, how about we go back to that magic mirror and see if we can actually look at Prince Lawrence and maybe get a glimpse at who the hell he is. But that's really sad. She was beautiful. I really, she's, she was so cute. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What the? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, all right. <laughs> I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Faith's Show me... dead. Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Vicky. It's simply the way this has to be. All right. Thanks. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. All right. So we're going to go visit Prince Lawrence's... House? Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. What? Bigby, it's me. Hello. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Oh, my goodness. What, what the? About? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. Maybe we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's uh, let's go. <laughs> Did Toad say who was there? Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Uh, this part was a really big shocker for me. I. I can't believe Faith was murdered. That's crazy. And I think it's really cool that we have a mystery to solve. And um, I, I really like this game so far. And um, so, yeah, when we get back, we will be exploring Prince Lawrence's uh, apartment. Or I guess technically it would also be Faith's. And then um, we're going to go see what Toad is um, screaming about. So I will see you guys in the next part. I love you guys so much. And, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Bye, guys.